The digital navigation system available in most Hyundai models uses both manual controls and voice command technology to put the driver in control. While the technology is advanced, Hyundai has made the functionality very easy and intuitive. Now the touchscreen can display information on multiple items such as audio settings, phone calls, music and navigation. Today we're going to focus on some key navigation functions to help get you started, like setting a destination, saving a home address, and finding various points of interest. As I go over these features, you'll see the corresponding voice command at the bottom of the screen. All right, the first thing we're going to want to do is look at our current location on a local map. We do this by pressing the map voice button on the control panel. If you're a new user, make sure you read the caution screen and don't forget to select your language, then touch agree. Remember, it's called a touch screen, not a push screen. You don't have to press on the screen very hard. You just have to lightly touch your selection to get the system to do what you want. Anytime you want to give a voice command, press this button on the steering wheel. When you hear a beep, you can give a command. A full list of voice command options is listed in the Digital Navigation System User's Manual that comes with every new Hyundai equipped with Nav. So here are some basics. Pressing the Map Voice button will display your current position on the map. On this map, you can zoom in and out, select a point of interest, and you can also see the satellite signal strength. There may be times when the satellite signal is blocked and the system may not operate properly, like when you're driving through a tunnel or surrounded by tall buildings. Not to worry, when the signal strength improves, the system will start working normally again. You can also pan around the map if you want to see what's further away from your current location without zooming out. Take the time to familiarize yourself with the items listed under the setup menu. A few of the things you can do by pressing the setup button on the control panel include changing languages, turning voice command feedback on or off, changing distances from kilometers to miles, updating your address book, adjusting the volume of the voice guidance system, and accessing the help screen. For additional details on nav setup and adjustments, check the digital navigation system user's manual and quick reference guide. While we're talking about some of the features under the setup menu, let's go ahead and save a home address. The easiest way to do this is to park your vehicle safely at your home address and press the setup button. Select My Places from the menu, select Home Address, and then select Store Current Position. And that's it. Done. Your home address has just been saved. If you're not currently at your desired home address, you can still enter it by selecting Home Address, then Search, and following the prompts to search for street number, street name, and city. Now what if you need to find an address or location while out on the road? Simply press the destination button marked DEST to access the destination features. You can search for a destination a few different ways. If you select address, you can follow the options to search by street or city. Once the desired destination appears, you can either set as destination, add to address book if you want to save it, or return to the previous input screens by touching the back arrow on the top right of the screen. You can also return to your current address by pressing the map voice button. If you've already saved a home destination, when you press the destination button, you'll see the home icon illuminated. Touch the icon and the system will guide you home. If you want to search for a specific business destination by category, name, or address, you can use the POI menu to find your point of interest. Oh, one thing to note, points of interest will only appear on the screen when the map scale is 800 meters or less. If you zoom out beyond 800 meters, points of interest will no longer appear on the map. Now there are two ways to use the POI function. The first way is from the map voice screen. Touch the POI icon and select what type of business or destination you're looking for from the category list. Each POI category icon is described in the appendix section of the NAV user's manual. Touch the icons on the map and the name and address will appear at the top of the map. The second way to use the POI function is to search for a specific business or location by name, phone number, or list them by category. First, press the destination button and select POI search. Once you find the POI you're looking for, you can set it as a destination or add it to your address book. After you have set a destination, you can customize or change the route to get there by pressing the route button on the control panel. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to use your navigation map screen, save a home address, set a destination, and find a point of interest. 
For additional information on nav setup, features, and voice commands, refer to your Digital Navigation System User's Manual and Quick Reference Guide that came with your new Hyundai.